Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Did You Know? This is Angie Perez with Paradigm IT Group. And normally, we bring to you um, a little nugget of uh, technical information. However, today we have a very special treat. Um, we're doing something a little different. Um, and so one of the things that's celebrated in February is this National uh, Random Acts of Kindness Week. And so that's kind of the inspiration behind today's um, video. I was thinking about who better to share this great experience with. Um, I thought of no other than Patricia Camacho, my great friend, colleague, and um, it, it, she's definitely someone that, um, I'll tell you what she does in two seconds, but she's someone that I admire greatly, um, has an amazing heart, um, great mom, I admire you, I, I really do, professionally, um, personally, so, and she does real estate in the North Orlando area. Um, she's been doing real estate for, uh, let's say, almost a year now. Yes. And so um, she has, uh, I'm going to put down her email and um, so a way for you to contact um, Patricia if you are in the process of looking for your next home or looking to sell. So th there's your mini commercial, your your um, two seconds of fame. <laughs> Under second. Yes. All right. So let's get right to today's topic. Um, Patricia and I were having a great conversation in regards to um, spreading kindness in the workplace. So, um, Patricia, what are the three things that you think are most important for us to keep in mind as we think about, you know, shifting our mindset and being able to transmit kindness? Ah, thank you, Angie, for bringing me. Oh, yes, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we were talking just this um, uh, um, informally, and I think we have we got to a point thinking there's three three ways to think the kindness in every person. One is ourselves, mm -hmm. is uh, us as individuals, finding the reason why we're part of the world, uh, the, the world market and as an individuals. Why do we have to actually work and bring a paycheck at home? Mm -hmm. So why do we have to go to the workplace and do whatever we do? It's just because we are part of a society and we are making, uh, we're here because we have a purpose and we have to find it and we have to be good people and meaning that good people is because we have to find uh, the limit be before be between the, um, making a living and giving to others. Others mean our family, our loved ones, our community. So finding that position makes us uh, happier people, and happier people can express and expand the, the kindness to others. So that being said, I, I guess we are the basic as individuals of being kind to others, just mm -hmm. because we are. And then I'm gonna say uh, also, when you belong to a workplace, uh, as an employee or as an employer, you have certain culture in the company, and then you have your peers, um, you have your people that you're working around. So in the culture, I'm gonna say, uh, the culture is coming from after the, you know, the management, leadership, mm -hmm. leadership, bringing certain type of uh, recognition to the employees and the people that is working, and actually creating better environments to make the people to stay and to actually perform better. So you, they have, you can have many things, just a call from the manager, uh, a note, uh, just some prices, or things like that. But also you have your peers, and I, I think the peers are very important because they are the ones looking at you every single day, everything you do, and then they can give you compliments and they can give you just a word or just a tap in your shoulder, everything is gonna be okay, or just uh, being there. You know, sometimes many things that they can do for you uh, can promote kindness and better yeah. positive environments. Yeah. And we were talking about gratitude also. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, being grateful for the opportunity to be working and being grateful because you belong to a certain community gets you in the mood of positivism. Mm -hmm. Being grateful for something is kind of a preventing you from being negative. Those kind of a currents in your brain don't, don't get you know they don't work right if you're glad you, you're thankful for something you can be mad at that you know you're grateful you're grateful you can be at the same time you know, exactly. upset 
So that's I think those are the the, the, the key things, the key, the key things. elements. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, and also I, I would I would say something else uh, when you're recognizing someone and you're being kind with someone, those things have to be in a timely manner, mm -hmm. and they they have to happen at the moment. Mm -hmm. You have to be now like purposeful you know. and yes. Yeah. Yeah, and for a good reason, mm -hmm. not because just because you, you you can say every single morning to your peer, you're looking pretty today, and again you're looking pretty today, and then at the end it doesn't mean anything, right. you know. You have to actually do things with a purpose and on time. You can wait until a year later. Hey, I remember you were doing this, and I was right. nice from you. No, it has to be in the moment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it loses its meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, to wrap up, we scoured the internet, tips on how you can go on about um, spreading kindness in your workplace, at home, uh, but we're gonna leave you with five, um, five great ones. So the first one um, I would say is smile. Something as easy as smiling. How many times, and we were talking about this, um, you walk into a place of business, whether it's you're going in to a you know to your child's school um, or you know any anywhere and you are greeted with a frown and just having really someone greet you with a smile just kind of opens up um, that conversation it just it, it really gives you a great experience even before you oh, yeah. do anything before you start a conversation yeah. and then the basic rule of the society say thank you please and thank you yes. those are the basics I mean, even even if you have the authority on others, you have to ask the please and thank you. Yes. You can give just instructions without them. I don't think that's right. Right, uh, definitely. No, we also talked about um, having a kindness wall or a compliment box, which we thought was a great yeah. idea. So whether you put it up on on a wall, let's say, um, you know, in your workplace, if you have just a wall where people can post positive comments or a box where people can drop comments into and then you, you get to share that you know in your next team meeting. And then Patricia, you had a great idea for doing something similar at home. What yeah. was that? Yeah, at home. You can have a, like a poster thing, mm -hmm. like a mini blackboard, and you can put some inspirational quotes, yes. like being, or to, being good to others and you know, whatever. You, you can just write something that is a challenge for the family and something to remind others to behave certain ways. Yeah. And then talking about the wall, I was just listening to you. I was thinking, why don't we have a, like a walk wall? Have you heard about the walk no. walls in, in cities? They're doing that on, on, on parks and things, open spaces for people, like oh. before I die, the, oh. the walls. Uh -huh. So they paint these walls in, 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 in black, mm -hmm. and people go and write down, before I die, I went to something. Oh, and wow. those are beautiful. But you can have them at work, and then just bring quotes just write the quote and you have you can oh, erase them right. but you can keep them for as long as you want to huh that's something that I, I was like listening that. to you I was, mm. yeah that's but a great idea so anywhere where it's a visual i'm a very visual yeah. person so that's definitely very helpful for me and um, last but not least we talked about random acts of kindness and I know we touched a little bit upon it, but as Patricia mentioned, it has to be intentional in the moment, and it, it, it has to be genuine. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, whether you're doing, um, you know, expressing kindness to your coworker or doing a random ex act of kindness to your coworker or to your, you know, boss, to your supervisor, at home, to your spouse, to your children, um, make sure that it's intentional and sometimes we we really kind of rack our brain trying to figure out what you know okay I smiled well that's great but there's other ways to um, perform random random acts of kindness and things as simple as leaving a note for your spouse or your you know your co-worker saying you know or great job or picking up the phone or sending a text message you know we're very um, <laughs> digital people these days um, yeah I, I read this week actually a quote saying, what if you do every day one mini act of kindness? At the end of the year, you will change 365 lives. It's just with a mini, mini, tiny action. Yeah. And I guess that's the biggest purpose of this video is just a, a reminder. I think the, the holiday itself, um, 
you know, it's it stays in February and we can celebrate it every year or we can choose to make it a part of our daily lives. And remember that one, um, going the extra mile, and it's sometimes not even an extra mile, if you choose to smile, if you choose to open the door for someone, if you choose to do something that small, you can brighten someone's day at a level that you, you just can't begin to comprehend. So, um, you know, that's that's where your light shines and um, and you know hopefully if you are touched by that you're able to transmit that to to others and change their whole day their I don't know their life yeah. who knows I know. so okay. all right guys there you have it on that note go forth and conquer have a magnificent week we will see you guys later and remember to call Patricia Camacho for any uh, real estate needs in the North Orlando area and uh, we'll see you guys next time Ciao.